So this is going to be the shortest video response ever. My response to this topic is what Anne said. <laughs> Anne Douglas is incredible and her points were spot on. What she said about seeking out uh, people or other parents who have been in this situation is essential. Uh, for us, when our daughter was first diagnosed, uh, I went online and found this amazing community of parents who are where we are, and uh, that support has been amazing for us. Um, in terms of the people who are in your life every day, your friends and family, they are a lifeline. They're the people who support you in everything and, you know, somebody to laugh with and, and uh, you know, bring you the occasional casserole if you should need it. Um, but for people who in your life who drag you down, you know, the toxics, um, you know, they make you feel guilty for not being available or they're always negative or whatever reason, um, you may need to consider cutting them loose because it takes a lot of energy to raise a special needs child and diverting that attention away from your task to deal with them is not ideal. Um, however, uh, just keep in mind that some people have a hard time speaking to you about your special needs child. It can be really awkward and some people say the wrong thing or they may not say anything at all. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind, but you know, so cut them some slack. Um, and while you're at it, cut yourself some slack because, you know, you're not a martyr, you know, well, there's a reason that mother and martyr actually sound alike. Um, but, uh, you know, you may feel angry some days. Or you may feel ripped off or scared or worried or whatever it is that you're feeling. Allow yourself to feel that and then shake it off and get on with it because life is good. And our kids are amazing.